Welcome, welcome, my beautiful Pisces, my beautiful mermaids and mermen. Last, but definitely not the least. This is your Tarot and Oracle card general reading for the week of January the 18th to the 24th, 2021. I truly want to thank you again for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and especially clicking that option and making that bell ring when you subscribe. Please know that if you desire a private session with me, all that information is posted below this video in the information box. Okay, let's see what we have here, my beautiful mermaids and mermen. Your first all over energy card is the surrender out to outdated beliefs about yourself. Okay, Pisces, what's going on here? Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in your life. Well, Pisces, you're a fish. I'm a fish. We're either swimming upstream or down. There's never any happy in between with us or, you know, even a, 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 um, a levitating in the middle here. Um, we're always going one way or the other, right? And so, Pisces, I don't want you to get up in your head. I don't want you to look back at your past. I don't want you to think because you do have the temperance and you do have the hangman in your in your uh, tarot reading because things aren't moving as quickly for you that you're going to get up in your head and worry that you're not doing the right thing, that something's not right, you know, and you start doing that. Pisces, you live in your beautiful imaginary world here. Stay positive. Don't get up in your head about worrying about things, okay? Change the, the past. You know, it's done, okay? And the only way you can change that is to learn from it and create a new one, okay? So we can't change what happened in the past, but we can learn from it and create a new one. So Pisces, you're doing that. We've talked about this for a while. You're moving on. You're making all those changes to go towards your happy ever after, your goals, whether it's in your financial part of your life, your career, or whether it's in your personal life and relationships. So let go of those outdated beliefs about yourself. That was then. Pisces, you are awakening to a new beginning here. You are becoming the person you always wanted to be and you are spending your time, you are investing your efforts into this outcome, this beautiful goal. And as long as you stay focused and do that, Pisces, you're going to get it. It's our year to shine. You're on the ideal course here. Look, you're taking the ideal course of action, right? So sometimes you can get a little overwhelmed if things aren't working out as quickly as you want them. But stay on course. You stay in alignment and you'll see the clarity here. Okay, so, you know, this is your path here. And you are on the ideal course here, Pisces. You've got Angel of Miracle. Open your heart to expect a miracle. So again, don't be sabotaging yourself, Pisces, thinking that the worst is going to happen because it's not happening as quickly as Pisces wants it to. Pisces, you always want something done yesterday. And when it doesn't happen, you get caught up in your head. You are the moon and you start imagining all these things are going to happen. So know that you're going to see something come in, okay? You're going, anything's possible. And trust your divine. Lean into your higher self. Trust that it's going to happen. Believe in it, Pisces. This is about you maintaining stability here, maintaining alignment here, staying on course here, believing positively in yourself. You've got the anchor, so you have this ability to put it down when you feel safe and secure, and I do think you're going to see this happen. You're going to see security and safety more than you've ever experienced it in the past, Pisces. I truly believe this. But the beautiful thing about this is, like the fish who can just change direction and swim away at random and when they desire, you're going to be able to move on when you want to, too. Okay, you'll be able to lift the anchor and go where you want to go. Beautiful. But I always read it as firm foundation security here. Now, let's see what we have here in our tarot reading here. First of all, I think, you know, you could be receiving some news here that's going to clear and clarify a situation up. It could be the truth in something. Maybe somebody's stepping forward to offer you their hand in an apology or something's going to surface here that, you know, may change your plans and how you've been dealing with the situation. But it's going, the truth, once the truth is exposed, it, you know, it, it, the truth will free you, right? 
you've decided here, Pisces, you know, I think you're going to be moving on. I know you're moving on. You've dealt with the fire. You're not, you're, you're stepping up into your authenticity, your gifts. Uh, you're stepping up into the truth and you're stepping up into your power, Pisces. There's nothing stopping you as long as you maintain focus on your goal. And at the end of the day, you're going to be able to celebrate something here. Because you've got that beautiful card of the Three of Cups celebrating something here, okay? So moving on, things aren't moving as fast as you want. Temperance, hangman, okay? Uh, while you're here contemplating, manifesting, meditating, you're going to be making up new, new ideas of what it, it is you want to do when you do hit the ground running. Be careful. Your crowning energy is taking on the burdens of others, doing too much, pushing yourself too hard, Pisces. Allocate that time now to just step back at times, okay, and get your rest. But I do think that you're letting go of something. You pushed yourself hard. You felt like you were pushing dead weight uphill. You took on more than, you know, you really could handle. But you're going to lighten your load now. And I think that's because you realize that you're not going to take on extra work. You're not going to take on extra burdens. Even though you're pushing yourself, and some of you might be doing that with your career and your workload, I think that you've got, as long as you maintain a plan here, I think you're going to be able to go through with it. But I do think that your passageway here is going to be a lot easier for you. Beautiful card here, Page of Pentacles, good news, beginnings of something wonderful, setting the wheels in motion, and there's a window of opportunity coming into you, Pisces, and I do believe a lot of you are going to see success in your career, money in the bank, and, you know, you're going to see that your hard work and, and efforts are going to pay off, but you've got to go for it, okay? You've got to keep that window of opportunity out there and look through it and go after it. This could be a new career. This could be, you know, an enterprise. It could be the chance for clarity, even more clarity, perhaps, in a relationship now, okay? And it's the like, let's get all going and go after that energy card here. But often this page comes with good news to do with money. Here you have the Nine of Cups. Yes, make a wish. Wish is fulfilled, Pisces. So working hard for your goals, realizing that you have to be organized here, realizing that if you stay positive and you stay focused, you're, you're going to stay on course. You're on the right course here. Not getting caught up in your head, right, Pisces? Worrying about the things that happened in the past. You're letting it go. Pisces, you're a team player here. You could be getting together with others, you could be collaborating ideas, you could be promoting yourself, you could be teaching others, mentoring others, but you realize, Pisces, that you're going to be dealing with others, okay? Whether you're doing it virtually, whether you're out here on the internet, whether you're globally dealing with people on a global level. Here, I do see you're promoting yourself and you're able to get out there to work towards this beautiful goal of celebration. Okay, beautiful. Let's see what we have here. For our, you know, getting, getting, taking, the, making the load lighter, getting rid of the burdens here, uh, and not taking on the burdens of others, right? This is about being able to have an easier path, easier opening here of passage for you, not having to struggle so hard. Uh, and I want you to, you know, keep up that priority list, and you know, uh, you know, do the to-do list here, but you know, don't overload yourself. It's not worth it, Pisces. On top of that, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. You had the page. Now you have the Ace. Again, beautiful opportunity coming into you. This is like, you know, something's landed in your lap here. It's absolutely a beautiful card of success, a beautiful card of new beginnings, okay? Uh, you know, this is reward for your hard work and effort that's coming in. You worked hard for something, Pisces, taking on a heavy load. And at times you felt like you were pushing dead weight uphill, but you got it done. You got down to business because this is prosperity and abundance coming into you, Pisces. It's beautiful and it's tangible, okay? This is a new beginning for you. You're turning over a new leaf now. And because you're grounded now, you're being more grounded. Okay. All right, the truth will free you. Something's coming in. Could have to do with a legal matter for some of you. Maybe, you know, you're having to sign a contract or an agreement or something to do in the courts. Uh, know that it could slow down some of you. But the best thing is you receive this information. Now you can see the situation in clarity to move forward. And here comes the gift. Time, effort, support, or even money. You've had to deal with a situation maybe here. Maybe you have been struggling with a legal issue with the energy of somebody else. And it's give and take and push and pull and back and forth. But finally now, Pisces, it's almost like, you know, it's landing in your feet here. You're able now to see that all of that, all of that turned out in your favor. Now, 
This is also the card of charity. Maybe some of you are helping other people out. Maybe you're advocating to support somebody else's, uh, you know, progress. You've got, again, this queen of wands. I love her. She steps up. She takes the bull by the horn. She is fearless. She's courageous. And she goes towards her goals. You've got the Hierophant on top of that. And that means this could be your blessing, that you've decided to do this. You've seen the past. You've walked through the fire. And now you're going ahead, fearlessly going towards your goals. And it's almost like you're saying to everybody, watch me. Not with arrogance, but with your power, Pisces. Stepping up and saying, I'm doing the work. I'm putting my nose to the grindstone. And now I'm going to be able to see the blessings coming in here. So the Hierophant has to do with the church. Could be a marriage. Could be a wedding. But also I see that you are awakening. You're ascending. You're going up that staircase to success now. Wow. And it's almost like you're saying, thank you. Reason to celebrate because you're working hard for it, Pisces. You know, as long as you don't allow your emotions to take over, because this is the Eight of Swords that says, you know, you get up in your head, you start thinking it's not going to work out, you think, oh, how can I be, you know, but it will. Pisces, don't allow yourself to get up in your head. You're not blocked. You're not stopped. You don't have a door in front of you or a wall that's impeding your direction. Don't allow your emotions to get carried away. And again, you're either swimming uphill or you're swimming downhill. So you know what? You need that. You need to balance yourself now, Pisces. Realize that you're going to have reason to be happy and celebrate. It's taking time. I know with a hangman, you're in a pause state. But you know what? You've got the world. And while you're in this state, start planning where it is you want to go, what it is you want to do. Some of you might be taking a trip or planning a trip of some sort. But this is full circle. This is saying, you know what? You've got the world in your hands. Now you're able to travel where you want to go with your career, with your relationships, doing what it is you want to do. When you get off here, it's because you've been thinking about it. What is it you want to do? You're collecting all that book of knowledge, all that, all that information. So when you get down, you're going for it, Pisces. The world is your oyster now. It, you're starting to see progress in it. You're starting to see your financial uh, all hard work and effort that you've been applying to your career. I think most of this has to do with career. Just do things in moderation. Pisces, you're the most addictive sign on the zodiac. Okay? Don't overdo. Okay? Don't overindulge. Be careful. Do things in moderation. Okay? Take your time. Okay? And again, look what you've got. You've got the four of... You had... The three, now you have the four, the four of wands. And you had the three of cups, which is celebration on an emotional level. Could be wedding, could be partnership, could be the birth of a baby. But this is celebration here. You know, could be weddings as well. But this is for hard work and effort, okay? So know that when you get out, if you take your time and you plan your moves and you articulately decide and get orderly here, Align yourself up, stay on course, stay focused towards this goal. You're going to have reason to celebrate because, you know, the fruits of your labor are going to come out. Great message here. Keeping your options open, offers, opportunities coming into you that you can go after now. Good news about money. You might have worried about that. You might have worried that, you know, you, you things weren't going to work out. That, you know, but I think you've made the changes. You've made the tweaking. You've done the work. Pisces, you're going to see things work out in your favor. So stop worrying about it. Okay, Pisces, don't get up in your head. You had the Eight of Swords. Now you got the Nine of Swords. Losing sleep over a situation, Pisces. And this is the card that says you need to get your rest. You need to be 100%. You don't want to bring on any physical and emotional illness at this time. You need to be running on all cylinders here, Pisces. Okay? So don't worry. You don't have any worry. If it's been over money and the opportunity you've been waiting for, it's coming. Because now you're going to see your wishes have come true. Wishes fulfilled on an emotional level. Beautiful. And for some of you, it might have had to do with a relationship or a partnership. Because you've got the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups talks about, you know, coming towards somebody in an emotional level. It's a beautiful card of beautiful energy, loving energy coming in towards you. So, you know, you could have someone new coming in to offer you their hand in attention, affection, partnership, respect, okay? Or even, you know, romantic love here, all right? So I think you're you're going to be able to establish a bond with somebody, you're partnering up. Uh, it could also be a card, um, you know, it could be a relationship that you're doing uh, reconciliation and forgiveness with. So you could have been wanting that, some of you. I mean, Pisces, you're beautiful, you're romantic, 
Uh, this could be your dream coming true here, okay? Also, the Two of Cups suggests marriage. There could be a commitment coming in here, whether it's a marriage, literally, of two people uniting on a romantic level, or the marriage of minds, partnership, getting together with someone else to work towards the same achieving goal. Goal, beautiful. And I think it's because, you know, you could be working with two others, okay? You could be, you know, you're a team player, as I said, promoting yourself, but you're also planning it because here is the page, or pardon me, the Knight of Pentacles. And this is the slowest moving knight out there. You hear me say it all the time. He's not charging in on his steed headstrong. No, he's planning his move. He's plotting his move. And while you have the temperance and you have the hangman here, you're in this pause state, Pisces. Start making out that list. Start planning the things that you want to change in your career or in your relationships to make things work out better. Getting out there, promoting yourself, but planning it and not charging in headstrong. You know, communicating with others, collaborating, being a good team player, bringing other people into the equation too. Beautiful. Teaching, mentoring, learning. Wonderful. Wow, Pisces. Beautiful. You are promoting yourself. Don't worry because you've got these great cards coming in, not only in relationship success to celebrate, but also in the financial part of your life. You know, it's like you're going to say, I've had this miracle all of a sudden starting to come into me. As long as you stay on course, let go of those worries, Pisces, okay? Let them go. Stop worrying. Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords, and, you know, letting go of outdated beliefs. It's over. It's done, my beautiful Pisces. Move on because you're going to see the fruits of your labor here and coming to fruition. Wow. Yeah. Nine of Cups, which is fulfilled. Beautiful. Okay, my Pisces, this is your reading for this week. I am happy. I love this reading. I'm a Pisces too. We never know what these cards are going to be when they hit my desk. But awesome, awesome reading. Just stay on course, Pisces. Just stay positive, Pisces. You're seeing the foundation you're building coming to fruition now. Yeah, it might be taking time. Obviously, things are taking time right now. You may see things changing within the next few weeks. Our world is in a crazy way. Don't worry about it, Pisces. You're doing the right thing. Stay on course. Stay in alignment. And remember always that the universe and the divine, your higher power, wants you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. And my prayers and blessings are that you stay in good all over health, physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. Please play safe, stay safe, and be safe. And I'll see you soon.